On the journey to becoming a successful athlete, navigating your way to your goals can sometimes see like a never ending battle. But often that battle is never really done out on the field, on the track, or even in the stadiums. It's done way before the prying eyes of spectators and ultimate judgment. It's a battle with yourself. But what if I was to tell you there's an internal battle going on that's holding you back from fulfilling your sporting potential? Something that if you could change, could be the key to changing your game completely. Well, if you want to know what it is, then you're going to want to hang around for this video because I'm going to show you what it is, why it's happening, and even tips in how you can turn it into a competitive advantage. So the other day I was talking to one of my athletes that's a quarterback in high school football. They were beginning to get annoyed at their performances and they were frustrated that they weren't where they wanted to be and even beginning to be demotivated and thinking about giving up. So I simply asked, where do you think you should be? As soon as they opened their mouth, I knew exactly what was wrong. My athlete replied, Tom Brady can throw a 40 yard touchdown and the most I've ever done is 20. Their problem was obvious and it's so common. It's something that we barely realize we're doing, which kills our motivation, fills us with insecurity, jealousy, and leads to us giving up and even living a life of unfulfilled potential. So what is it? It's comparing ourselves to others. Every day we end up comparing ourselves. Studies have shown that we spend about 10% of our days comparing ourselves to other people. That's two and a half hours each day. So why is it happening? Well, it stems from social comparison theory developed by psychologist Leon Festinger in 1954. The theory describes the comparison processes people utilize to evaluate their actions, accomplishments, and opinions in contrast to those of other people. Festinger also believed that we make these comparisons as a form of establishing a benchmark in which we can judge ourselves to others. And this social comparison works in two directions, upward comparison and downward comparison. The most common being upward comparison. Theodore Roosevelt famously said, comparison is the thief of joy. For example, let's say you're a basketball player and you're trying to assess your own skills. You might start playing a game with your friends and practice shooting free throws. Once you have a good understanding of your skills, you might then begin to start to compare your performance to other people that you know. You might immediately think of a friend who plays for their school's basketball team, or even maybe someone who plays for a professional team. In comparison to them, your performance is not nearly as skilled. At first, you may feel discouraged at the gap between your abilities, but then you might start to feel a sense of judgment, insecurity, or maybe even jealousy. Ultimately, it leads to you becoming demotivated and thinking negatively about everything. You could say things like, I'm not that good, I'm not as good as them, and why even bother? Your shoulders slump and then you roll the ball away and you give up. But on the other end, we have downward comparison. Now take yourself back to the basketball court. This time, compare your abilities to a friend who couldn't make a free throw to save their life. In comparison, your performance is much better. And so this is an example of a downward social comparison. In this case, observing your friend's lack of abilities actually makes you feel even better about your own. You might start to think, I can do this, I can do that, and I'm actually better than someone. You start to feel a sense of happiness of where you currently are, or perhaps what you've even achieved to date. This form of comparison is extremely popular in cultivating a sense of gratitude or appreciation. However, for others, it can lead to a sense of arrogance and overconfidence. You think of being better than others as a way of dominating them, and you risk not only ruining relationships, but also your success. You could easily fall into the trap of not working as hard, becoming complacent, and even the opportunity for people to overtake you. So can we harness this comparison to work for us rather than against us? Well, yes, but it takes some work. And it's clear that we can't stop these thoughts. And so the trick is to redirect your comparisons. It's you don't need to stop them, that it's a part of our social existence as human beings. And everyone is thinking the same anyway. So how do we stop these negative effects of comparison to others and even turn them into positives? Well, one way is to focus on your journey. As psychologist Jordan Peterson writes, compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to who someone else is today. If the answer is yes, then great, keep going. But if the answer is no, then look at how you can make tomorrow just that little bit better. Or perhaps look at how far you've come on your journey. And is there someone that you think could see you as a role model? Being able to focus on your journey just reminds you that everyone else has a different path. And so focusing on what matters the most to you is ultimately what matters most. You can't control anyone else's journey, so why focus on it? 
and focus on where you're going and the direction you want to be in. Another way is to compare realistically. Take my quarterback athlete who compared themselves to Tom Brady. So if my athlete was to compare themselves to say the number seventh quarterback in the NFL, as opposed to Tom Brady, or even just a college quarterback, then that would reduce this feeling of comparison. So if you are going to compare yourself, don't do it to someone that's at the top. Look at someone who is lower down in the rankings, maybe someone a little bit closer to where your current abilities are at. And when you compare yourself in this way, you're looking upwards, but not so far away that it's unrealistic that you can't achieve it. Now, speaking of famous athletes, another vital way to reduce your comparison is to reduce your screen time, especially social media. A large culprit for fueling our comparative thoughts is social media. When we go on social media, we're only seeing people's highlight reels and them doing better than us, especially if we're just sitting there in our underwear on our phones. And a survey in 2023 found that nine out of 10 youths compared themselves via social media. So while these channels aren't going anywhere, it's important for us to reduce the amount of time they have an impact. So start by trying to reduce your time on your phone. As an athlete, being on your phone isn't helpful anyway. It's taking time away from spending things you could be doing that are far more productive. However, when you do go on it, I recommend doing a social media audit. This means when you open up your social media, look at the people that you are following and ask questions such as, does this inspire me? How do I feel looking at this? Or why am I following this person? If the answers are things like no, or I don't feel great, and I only follow them because they are successful, then hit unfollow. You wanna follow people that inspire you, that motivate you, that educate you. If I was a young athlete right now, I would be only following people that do those things and I wanted to be like. Which leads us onto our final point, because if you're still going to be comparing yourself to others, then try this last one which is look for inspiration in the comparison. Too often we will look at someone that we want to be like and only compare ourselves to their achievements, their successes, or their status. And I've personally fallen into this trap before. Before I turned pro, I compared myself to those around me and many other athletes. I would ruminate over what I didn't have and one simple change that I made turned me from a young kid with potential to then signing a professional contract. And what I did was I began to look for those I wanted to be like, role models, people I saw myself in in some way. I would then look for what made them successful rather than their current outcomes they had. I would get curious and ask questions like, how did they get there? I would look at their training, their diet, their recovery, their attitude, and try to emulate that, all while blocking out the noise of what others were doing. And come to think of it now, I was so focused on what I was doing, I didn't think about what others were doing and spent time dwelling on that. So when you're looking at others and comparing yourself to them, are you looking at their skills, their strengths, their physicality, where they are now? Or can you look and see how they develop those skills and maybe how you can do that yourself? I think of my favorite phrase from Ted Lasso quoting Walt Whitman, be curious, not judgmental. And this curiosity leads you to focus on what you can do now, moving you away from rumination and towards action. So look for your role models. These are people that you want to be like because of where they are now, but look for something else. Instead of looking for their success, look for how they got that success. Perhaps they overcame challenges, they were patient, trained for extra hours or faced rejection. All of these things are totally in your control and you can start doing them right now. And while you want to focus on your own journey, you can be inspired by someone else's and do it yourself. And taking this inspiration from the comparison is ultimately how we take this upward comparison that often leads to jealousy, insecurity, and demotivation and we turn it into fuel for our fire towards our sporting dreams. So finish by asking yourself these questions. Am I comparing myself to someone too far ahead? Am I focusing on my own journey? Am I following the right people? And can I look for inspiration in the comparison? And all of this is no good if you don't have this next piece of the puzzle. So you're gonna to wanna to watch this video next.